Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Loharan. I'm a board certified upper cervical chiropractor. Today we're going to talk about fibromyalgia and how we approach treating patients who are suffering from fibromyalgia. This video is meant to educate the public on how upper cervical chiropractic care can help improve the quality of life of patients who may be suffering from fibromyalgia. Because of fibromyalgia's complexity, I am in no way guaranteeing results or outcomes for any patient. Fibromyalgia is a chronic disorder that's characterized by widespread pain and tenderness across muscles and joints. It is also accompanied by chronic fatigue and a heightened sensitivity to touch. Nobody really knows the exact cause of fibromyalgia, but there are theories that say there's a genetic component, it's a stress-related condition, it could be due to a stressful or traumatic event. Patients who suffer from fibromyalgia often experience widespread pain and fatigue that doesn't get better with rest. They may experience fibro fog or something that's very similar to brain fog, something that interferes with their ability to concentrate or gives them sensitivity to light, sounds, and certain temperatures too. Patients who come into our office are often being co-managed by other doctors, and they are being prescribed certain medications such as painkillers or even antidepressants to manage their symptoms. Because fibromyalgia is such a complicated diagnosis, our main goal of care in our office is to improve quality of life. So how does an upper cervical chiropractor improve the quality of life of somebody who is suffering from fibromyalgia? Getting regular adjustments can help decrease sympathetic tone, reduce muscle spasms that they're experiencing, and also improve the brain fog. Adjusting the spine helps reduce sympathetic tone because we can adjust the spine in areas that directly stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system. But an upper cervical chiropractor who's treating the C1 has a larger advantage because the vagus nerve crosses directly in front of the atlas. So when a specific adjustment is done to the atlas to realign that bone, you're also balancing vagus nerve tone. Number two, balancing muscle tone. So we know that when the C1 is misaligned, your whole body is affected. As you can see in this diagram, if we have a head tilt, we're not walking around with this head tilt. We have to lift up the opposite shoulder and then also lift up the opposite hip. This is known as the writing reflex and it allows us to remain balanced when our eyes are no longer parallel to the horizon. And this animation shows that you can see the imbalance all the way down into the person's foot. When we walk around with one leg that's shorter than the other, you can imagine that's kind of like driving around with one flat tire and three full tires, right? That stresses the alignment of the car, stresses the balance of the car as well, so you can imagine all sorts of things will go wrong. A person's skeletal system is like the alignment of a car. If we're walking around with one leg shorter than the other, then our whole alignment and balance is off as well. And what's connected to the bones? The muscles. So you can imagine if we're supposed to have aligned bones like this, right? If one bone is slightly off, then you can imagine the muscles connecting to that bone are not balanced. One is pulled a lot tighter and one is more spasmed. A person who has a heightened sensitivity to pain is likely going to feel these imbalances a lot more. C1 misalignment can directly affect fibro fog or brain fog like symptoms because it can structurally impede the flow of CSF from flowing out of the brain and down into the spinal cord. CSF or cerebral spinal fluid is the fluid that surrounds the brain and the spinal cord. And one of the major functions is it takes away cellular waste from the brain and dumps it into the lymphatic system so that our bodies can properly detox of the waste. So if you take a look at this animation, we're looking from the brain down into the spine here. Um, this shows you the three holes that the cerebral spinal fluid has to pass through in order to exit the brain. If there's a misalignment in any of these bones, you can see that the hole in which the fluid that's flowing through is going to get smaller. So when it is smaller, then the CSF is not able to fully exit the brain. And
And so your brain is just kind of sitting in this waste soup of CSF. Dr. Scott Rosa, a leader of this research, said when we realign these bones, it's like flushing the toilet on your brain, allowing it to see clearer. So this is one way that C1 adjustments can improve fibro fog. As I mentioned before, fibromyalgia is a complex diagnosis with no known cause, no lab test to confirm diagnoses, and also no surefire treatment method. Upper cervical chiropractors, and specifically low force upper cervical chiropractors, can greatly improve a patient's quality of life. Our methods are non-invasive and non-medicinal, and they can affect the person by decreasing sympathetic tone, decreasing muscular spasms, muscular tone, and also improve the flow of CSF. We've seen many patients with fibromyalgia, and we know that each patient is very different. There are some patients who we can get out of their fibro flare-up, and they are good until their next flare-up, while we see others who need care at least once a week in order to maintain that quality of life. Each person is different case by case, and we meet them where they're at in terms of what they need. If you're looking for a San Diego upper cervical chiropractor who treats patients with fibromyalgia, give us a call. We'd be happy to help. If you know someone who's suffering from fibromyalgia and they're seeking more information about possible treatment alternatives, please share this video with them. And if you like this content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my page so that you are alerted the next time I